The country's inflation rate sizzled to 7.7% this October, its highest level in almost 14 years. But experts warn the worst might not be over. Global journalist Pamela Vasquez gives us a front seat to the big story. Inflation in the Philippines has spiked to a nearly 14-year high on Friday. According to the Philippine Statistics Authority, the inflation rate increased to 7.7% this October. This is up from the 6.9% in September. The PSA said the continued uptrend was primarily due to the faster food inflation. But they also warned that this could further rise due to the effects of severe tropical storm Paeng. Substantial probability na pwede pang tumaas itong month pala ng November. We will be experiencing upward a movement. This was also backed by economist Alvin Ang. Basically, the reason for the faster uh, inflation is really coming from food. And uh, we really have not yet uh, felt the full impact, for example, of this recent typhoon. The continuing uh, food supply problems all over the world. That really tells us that this is not yet the peak. The number also exceeds the Banco Central's 2-4% to target for the seventh straight month. But the October reading falls within the BSP's forecast of 7.1 to 7.9% inflation for the said month. Records show that the last inflation felt like this was during the December 2008 global financial crisis. But what for sure right now is that the BSP will increase its interest rate by 75 points. This is to get a benchmark rate of 5%. Should BSP raise its interest rate, this will be felt in consumer products such as home loans and credit cards come 2023. But given the Christmas season, this is seen as the answer for lowering prices of goods. Mobile journalist Pamela Vasquez, we are One News. Now to share with us his economic outlook given that 7.7% inflation print, we have with us on the show economist and pamantasan ng lungsod ng Maynila President Emmanuel Leco. He is joining us live via Zoom. Good evening, Prof. Welcome to the big story again. 14-year high, 7.7%. The PSA itself saying it's this is not the peak yet. There's a probability that we might actually see this going higher. Up to when do you see this extending? Indeed, uh, Jester and Gretchen, uh, this is very alarming. Uh, and uh, in fact, uh, where the uh, inflation is coming from, uh, it should uh, raise a lot of concern. Uh, food is a major push uh, in this inflation, and therefore, if we look at potential impact of uh, food inflation, that is nothing else but uh, hunger. Those uh, who cannot afford to buy food anymore will just basically uh, have to skip some meals. And uh, considering that uh, inflation is coming up uh, with uh, or beyond the uh, expected rates, even by the Banco Central, I think uh, the government should uh, really take this a lot more seriously than ever before. 7.7% is seriously high. And therefore, uh, our, uh, our assumptions uh, should be uh, uh, reconsidered uh, and uh, our plans for the next uh, few months and even for next year, particularly the budget. Uh, the national budget should be uh, shaped towards uh, helping the poor who cannot cope with the uh, rising inflation. Prof, how much of this 7.7% inflation is driven by currency weakness? And what can you say about addressing uh, both the demand and the supply side of things, given that food is the number one um, driver of uh, the inflation? What, what can we do at this point? Well, uh, we are importing a lot of our food from outside, and mm -hmm. therefore uh, we are vulnerable when uh, the currency uh, uh, depreciates. And uh, right now, uh, can we stop uh, importing? That is the cost that we have to pay now. Uh, b before, when uh, we uh, gave up on uh, our uh, reliance or self-reliance, uh, uh, this is what we are uh, paying for now. Uh, we will have to continue to import until our agriculture, until our food production is able to cope uh, with the local demands. In the meantime, we will have to uh, import and pay the cost. What can we do right now? Not much by way of uh, food production because it will take time mm -hmm. uh, before our own food production uh, can uh, uh, kick in and uh, make a difference. Uh, but I think uh, in terms of uh, the national budget, uh, we can uh, do something by uh, 
uh, say uh, those who cannot pay, those who cannot uh, pay for their own food, uh, dapat meron silang uh, social safety net. And this is what we are worried about now. The social safety net is basically uh, very, very thin. And those who cannot afford uh, to buy food, and in fact, uh, transportation uh, inflation is even higher than the food inflation. It's coming up at uh, something like 12.5%. And therefore, uh, those who are commuting will carry the brunt of uh, the continuing increase in inflation uh, in our transportation costs. No, Prof. I mean, you, uh, the things that you were mentioning earlier, these are all non-monetary interventions. On the side of the BSP here, they have been very vocal about this, a 75 beep hike in their next policy meeting. Is that going to be enough to arrest inflation? And when do we expect this to actually feed into, how, um, uh, into arresting uh, those uh, increases in inflation? Well, I think uh, it has already demonstrated that the uh, BSP intervention by way of increasing interest rate is not really creating any debt. In fact, we should be worried because when they uh, increase interest rates, that can backfire on the uh, government because that means they have to pay higher interest on their own loan. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, the government uh, may stand to lose uh, by way of uh, higher interest expense on their part. And uh, if the government itself is paying higher interest uh, uh, expense, that can be uh, another uh, uh, drag on our economy. The government uh, budget deficit will even uh, widen. And therefore, uh, we are not going to uh, see the end of it uh, in the near future. Uh, we have to caution uh, the government against raising interest rates. It has uh, uh, shown uh, uh, a negative uh, impact in other uh, countries where they uh, increase the interest uh, expense. The government lost a lot of money paying higher interest rates on loans that they uh, incur and uh, the uh, funds that they have to pay that they uh, are borrowing or are being deposited uh, in the accounts of the government. They have to pay higher interest rate. Uh, uh, interest rate is not a benign uh, instrument in arresting uh, inflation. It has its own uh, limitation, and therefore, we have to look for other ways uh, in uh, arresting inflation. But definitely, inflation will have to be, uh, 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 will have to be addressed uh, sooner than later. Given that we are, or the BSP is mirroring uh, the moves mm -hmm. of the Federal Reserve, um, how dependent is our economy on the United States that is facing a looming recession? And uh, I guess taking into consideration everything that has happened with our country, Paeng, Carding, and all of the typhoons that are yet to come. The pandemic and the uh, current uh, uh, depreciation of our peso basically expose the weaknesses of our economy. We are highly reliant, dependent on uh, foreign economies, and therefore when the uh, economies of the United States, for example, uh, uh, de de declines, uh, we are going to feel uh, the negative impact on our own economy. Definitely what happens to the U.S. Uh, will affect the Philippine economy. And uh, if I may add, inflation in the U.S. is not exactly uh, 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 getting uh, control. Even inflation in Europe has already reached double digits. So uh, inflation all over the world is uh, uh, worrying uh, everybody. And therefore, in the Philippines, I don't think we can uh, sit, watch uh, idly by how uh, the inflation continues to uh, uh, increase. Uh, we have to do something. Hopefully not too much by the end of the year. Maraming maraming salamat po, PLM President Emmanuel Lecong.